Hello and welcome to the van door. This is my van. It is a 2020 Ford Transit 250 long wheelbase, medium roof. It's called all wheel drive, most important thing. I used to be in a 1982 Chevy G30 and in the mountains of West Virginia, the transmission was just not up to par. So we sold everything and upgraded. Before we start the tour, I do want to quickly say that I did the entire build by myself. The only thing that I did not do was the two cuts in the roof. My boyfriend did those because he's a body man, so cutting holes in the roof, that's literally his job. So before we even enter the van, this is a seat, and in here I have like a bug spray and sunscreen. It's just nice to have it here out of the way so when you come outside you can grab it, spray, and put it back. And then on this side of my entrance I have all of my cat's stuff. If I just scoot the passenger seat up it reveals like his litter, his food, and then all of his supplies. Upon entering the van I am greeted with myself. <laughs> I have this amazing full-length mirror, which is honestly just velcroed on. It does have like screws on the back and then a bunch of industrial velcro and it has been holding it on. This thing is super light. It's like 10 pounds. I got it off Amazon. It's plastic. It's not wood. So yes. And then inside of here, we have my closet. I have a bunch of hanging stuff. Right now it's only my cold weather clothes, which I don't have as much cold weather clothes as I have warm weather clothes. So there's not much in here. And I also have a couple of drawers and then at the very bottom is my propane tank and I'm gonna tell you a little secret the van is not 100% done but today was the only sunny day this week the propane box is gonna be made tomorrow so do not fret but yeah the propane should be in a sealed box but it's not sealed right now so now we are in my kitchen. I did decide to go with a propane powered RV stove and oven. This is called the Greystone 21 inch. Listen, I like to bake. So having an oven was very important to me. Baked sweet potatoes have a very special place in my heart. So can't forego that. When I was doing the whole build of it all, the only people intended to live in here are me and my cat. So I don't have a crazy amount of storage. I don't have a lot of the wild things that a lot of people put in their vans. Although I did do a few things in the van to keep my boyfriend in mind because I do want him to be able to fly out and come and hang out in the van for a couple weeks, fly back home. So yeah. These are my little storage cabinets above the kitchen. This is basically my nightstand. I have all of my like bedtime stuff here. This is the beauty cabinet. <laughs> this is the only like actual kitchen cabinet in the kitchen. And then this is just like my active wear clothing and then seasonal clothing. So like hats and scarves and all that since it's cold right now. And I did put these little lips on the shelves that are in these two cabinets just so that the stuff doesn't come falling out. And also all of these cabinets, this right here is actually lips. So as you can see, I have this gorgeous marble tiling back here. I am in love with it. Okay, everybody was telling me that I had to just do the peel and stick stuff. And listen, nothing against the peel and stick. I just could not find one that I liked to look at. And this is my home for the foreseeable future, so I want to enjoy looking at it. Tile is so easy to do, people. So simple. And if you use the correct adhesive, it'll be fine in an RV. You just have to find a flexible adhesive. I'll put the one that I used here. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite things in the entire build is this marble backsplash. I love it. Okay, moving on. I have a little cubby here that has my soap and it also has my carbon monoxide detector and then my sink. I got my sink and my faucet off of Amazon and it has, you know, the basic little cutting board here. And then inside of my sink, I have a toothbrush holder and a sponge and little towel holder. And this sink, ah, okay, listen, this sink, I looked long and hard for this sink. Now, my second most favorite thing in this entire van is the countertop. It looks so real. Epoxy resin. It's a pour that I did. It looks so good. I have a whole video on how I did it and I'll link it. 
All right, so I'm gonna be showing you all of my kitchen drawers, starting with this one. I have um, eight pound RV latches on all of these, so you have to have buy like eight pounds of pulling for them to unlock, which is really nice and the oh, stuff comes out. And this is a huge shoe situation. Here is all of my cookware. So like I've got my spoon and spatula. I have all my plates, my bowls, and then it actually pulls out even more to reveal my Tupperware. This is a nice big drawer. Moving on to my fridge. So my fridge, I just pull it out and it's this Astro AI fridge. I had it in my previous van. It was like $200 and it works really, really well. So I'm sticking with it. It's 12 volt, which is really nice. And I also have an ice cube tray in here. So this is actually where all of my food storage goes. It's this nice, huge pullout pantry. I got this pre-made from Home Depot for $200. A little bit pricey, but I think it was really worth it. Moving on to my bed space. As you can see, I built this headboard into the wall and it is like acting as a little cubby. So whenever I do have my boyfriend in here, he has enough space to be able to lay this way. I have these beautiful lacy curtains, which I am obsessed with. And I feel like they really give a whole homey vibe in the van and then this is my heated blanket that me and my cat spend a lot of time on the van's whole control center is also accessed from my bed so i'll show you i have my diesel heater controller i have my battery monitor i have my outlets right here i have this one for usb and type c and then i have a 12 volt and then this is actually the switch for the pump my water pump so I can switch this on and then I'll have water. Over here, I decided to forego more cabinets and I just made a bookshelf because... Okay. Reading is something very important to me and I don't feel like I need to explain this. Anyways, this is my bookshelf. I've got my nice little plant. This guy's about four years old now. He has a brother, but his brother has not been brought into the van yet. Now, down here is actually the bathroom. So if you push this curtain out of the way, you will see in here is my toilet and like, you know, all that stuff. And up above the toilet is actually my junk drawer. It's actually a junk shelf. So again, there's a lip right here. So all this doesn't fall, but it has like cleaning supplies, random electrical stuff, things that don't have a home. And then I also have the diesel heater port. That's where the hot air comes out. It's very cozy and very nice and I like it a lot. And if you notice this curtain, it's so cute. I made it myself. Also, fun fact about this curtain was I got a whole lot of fabric so that I could make a matching little towel for the kitchen. For me personally, I knew that having a dinette was probably the most important thing for me in this build because I need a separate space from work and sleep and I didn't want to do the whole bed to dining room setup because listen, I know myself and I am going to be way too lazy to every day be switching my bed into a couch, switching it back for night, uh uh, please. That is so much effort. I am very happy with my decision and I stand by it very much. Inside of my chair here, we have my entire electrical system. So for the electrical, I've got 200 watts of solar on the roof. I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery from Renogy. I've got a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Eastwood. And I've got my fuse panel here. So yeah, that's basically my electrical system. It's so simple. I also have the alternator charging option available. I do have it um, wired up to the battery. It's just not actually connected to the battery because I honestly haven't even needed it yet but we'll see if that changes so i installed this laptop tray thing that i got from target and i just put it underneath the table using l brackets and i put more l brackets here so i can put like notebooks and whatnot in here and it is a very nice usage of storage so i have a wee boost in here if i am doing work i can just easily turn it on and get signal if you don't know what this is this basically if i have one bar of service it will boost me up to full service and then i also have another 12 volt usb and type c outlet right here is the other seat in my dinette which is really fun because i can turn around and view the outdoors this is actually doubling as my cat's litter box so let me show you how that fun works 
it's really not fun cleaning the litter box, just FYI. <laughs> you can be sitting here enjoying your day and then your cat lets out a stinky poop, which if you have a cat and you've ever smelled their poop fresh, you know. So you're like, oh, I need to get rid of that real quick. So you just can lift this up, pull it out. Usually I just do it like that. With his litter, I make sure to use only all natural litters so that when he does poop and I need to toss it out, I can literally just scoop it up and chuck it into the forest and it's safe. It's all good. It's no different than a fox pooping in the forest. This is the Dometic Hecky Mini. So it's a small one. I love it. I can just open her up, close it. And I like that it comes with a bug screen as well as a blackout shade. All right, and then of course, we've got the typical Max Air fan. It's blowing air out right now, and you can switch it so that the air can blow inwards. Right here, I also do have my light switch, so my lights are on a dimmer, which I really like because at night, it's nice to just have them ever so dim. And I'm very happy with the position I ended up putting this in because I couldn't decide if I wanted it here on the wall panel with my other electrical stuff or right here. And I decided this was a good middle because when you come into the van at night, it's very easy to find this. And when you're going to bed, it's very easy to just reach up and turn the lights off. These are all just little like puck lights. So I'll show you how it works. So basically you can just pull them out like that. Get back in there. And so yeah. They are very easy to replace if needed to be replaced. Oh yeah, so then I also have this curtain. I got this rod for like five bucks from Target. Just took a self-tapping screw. I pre-drilled the hole through the metal, but this is just like the framing of the van. And I just put a hole in the rod, put a hole in the metal self-tapping screw through them both so that I have this nice curtain to hide me when I need to be hidden. Welcome to my garage. All of my tools are still in here because the build is not 100% done, but you get the gist. So pretty much have all of this amazing space here to just storage, storage, storage. What storage? Don't really know. I have my summer clothes right here. All that is my tools. And then on this side, so I've got my 13 gallon water tank and then I have my shower and like all of my showering and cleaning stuff in this area. This thing is a 10 out of 10 recommend. It was off Amazon and it's just a shower head that is battery powered and you just put the pump of it into the bucket and you shower yourself. Here's my diesel. Here's my diesel heater set up. There's the heater itself. I feel like this is everything I could ever ask for in a van and it's just a very accomplishing feeling that I actually did this myself. It feels like a home to me and that was what was most important is that I made a space that gave me mental clarity because if I'm in a space that does not make me feel calm and collected, my mental is not in a good place. If you would like to see more of the adventure, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video when we finally hit the road.